Saunders. Well, hello, everybody. Oh, I thought you was going to say, I thought you was off on one then. Didn't you? No, fucking straight the in, fucking straight in. Boy. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Good evening, good afternoon, and good night. I don't know which one it's going to be. It's it could good be, evening at the well, minute. Well, it's evening at the minute, but I don't know when this is going out. Wonder. Oh, so right, it could be it could good be... afternoon, good evening, or good night. Oh, okay. Then. <laughs> and from the Truman like. Show. Fantastic film. Yeah, great film. Um, wonder. Yes. The latest in the range of beers from one of our favourite breweries. Stay mm. really good. Um, they've done the records, so they've done the uh, right. Let's get this right. The blueberry burst, pancake burst. Yeah. The cherry wrecker, which ended up wrecking your can. Um, it was quite nice. Which though, was lovely. You tried that one, didn't you? Yeah, I, I quite like that. Uh, we've had the other one, mango. Uh, the uh, reptile respawn. Yes. The mango and um, pa uh, passion you really fruit. You really like that one as well. I did that. You? I did that with Sam. Yes. Um, because uh, you were busy mm -hmm. and you were afraid you wouldn't like it. Mm -hmm. And this is the latest one. Yeah. And this one, wonder, is the bloody Bakewell wrecker. Yeah. And this is raspberry, cherry, and almond crust pastry. To be fair, this one sounds divine. Now yeah. I like a Bakewell tart. Yeah, you do. So Matt, do I actually. They're quite fan. nice. They've got almonds and Almond, cherry. Almonds and a cherry. And raspberry mm -hmm. coming in as they all are at eight percent. Um, but first thing to admire, I wonder, yeah, is that can. I know it's brilliant, isn't it? The yeah. art's in it, and it, and inside their brewery at the top is the same characters as well. They've decorated it at the top with them. Yes, so they yeah. got. Uh, well, they're, they're in the process of um, redoing their um, tap room on on the fly. Yeah, it's brilliant. Speak. And um, the, the, all of these characters. Um, that, are, that are in here are all adorning a yeah. piece of art up in the um, in the actual brewery itself. Yeah, it's really um, good. I love it. Wonder. Yes. On the record scale. Yes, on the record. This scale. is a five. A five. So quite wrecking. It's gonna wreck it. Quite wreck it. Is it a wreck it, Ralph? Wreck it. It's a wreck it, Ralph. Um, I don't think there's anything to give away on the can, but feel no. free to have a look. I'll have a look. Um, and I've got my wrecker glass, mm. which you kindly bought me the last time we were there. I did. Well, it's got salt in it. Okay. It's got natural almond flavour, yep. sweet cherries and raspberries in it. Okay. So a perfect combination for a cherry bake well, really, it, isn't it? It sounds... Right up your street. Absolutely lovely. I'm trying to see whether... Oh, yeah, 8.5% mm. it is. Now, this, is, this was on tap in the mm. tap room when we went last week. Yeah. And I purposely... Stayed away from it just yeah, to pick so this up. Yeah, so you can do a proper review yeah. for the first time. <coughs> yes. Yeah. So let's get it out. I'm I like the um, glass as well. The glass is great. I'm, yeah. I'm expecting this mm. to look lovely. Yeah. So what is a wrecker, Scott? So I think the wreckers are they're just alcoholic. Um, the first one was fruit the beer. fruit beer. Right, um, but really packed with fruit, though, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and obviously the, the first one, the um, the blueberry burst, Yeah. Um, I think the, the wrecker came because it used to leave all of the lacing down the glass right. and it looked like it had wrecked your gla the glassware. Mm. So I think that's where they're coming from with it. Right. In the glass, it's blood red. Yeah, um, cherry red, isn't cherry it? Cherry red, um, and it looks a bit of carbonation flying around in there. I can smell it from here. I yeah. can smell the cherries from here. Little to no head on it. Mm -hmm. um, looks lovely. It does. Really Wonder, smell go for a swirly. Smell the wrecker. Swell, smell that wrecker. <laughs> I'm going to smell it. <laughs> yeah, you're getting the cherries and the raspberries. Not much arm in front yet, but that might be more in the taste, I reckon. Yeah. Because it's it's strong in cherries and raspberries. Okay, so fruity. Yeah. Really fruity. fruity. Yeah, like fruity. It's good for a smell. You're a bit fruity. <laughs> you got a fruit loose. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a loose forbidden fruit? <laughs> in the head. <laughs> oh, I agree. Um can't smell the almonds, but it might be no, able to taste it. No more. almond going on, but there is a lot of fresh cherries and raspberries. It does smell very, very fruity. Yeah. Smells very, very nice. What did I try that time? What, it was I don't a know. slushy thing they did. They turned one of them into a slushy. That was the uh, the the um the cherry the cherry wrecker, the cherry right, coconut yeah, wrecker. Oh, 
That was really, really nice. I couldn't drink it all because it'd be too strong. So they started turning some of these into slushies at the tap room. At the tap room. On a hot day. They had fucking dangerous. They were really popular. Loads of people, you could see them, all the records, all slushy and straws. Very, very dangerous beers. Because not only do they wreck your glass, they wreck your fucking head. Go on, I wonder. Silence. Silence! I kill you. It's getting my head around the flavours. Okay. <coughs> there it is. Like the almond? Yeah, it's on the back end. You get the hit of the raspberry and the straw cherries. Strawberries? Yep. Strawberries as well. Hit, big hit of fruit. Yep. And you can tell it's packed with cherries and raspberries. Yep. And real fruit. You can taste it. Yep. And then at the end is the almond. Because I was trying to figure out what that taste was at the end. Right, okay. And it does taste like almond. Okay. Tastes like a cherry bakewell. <laughs> I reckon if you ate a cherry bakewell with it, it wouldn't be that too far removed, I don't think. It's more fruity. Now it's warmed up a bit because I've had it out of the, the, um, the uh, mm. fridge for about 10, 15 minutes. It does taste quite nice. There is quite sweet. the slightest almond and the aroma. Yeah. It smells lovely. Cheers. See what I mean? Wonder you've absolutely nailed that. Have I um, nailed it? Yes. Absolutely nailed that. Um, You've got the sweetness of those uh, of the the raspberries and the cherries mixed in with that sourness as well. Yeah, it's a little bit of sourness. Yeah, there. and then right as, as, a as, you, bit, not as too soon much. as that dies out, mm. you get the sweetness of those almonds. Yeah, um, I completely agree. Yeah, I got it right. I'm gonna be a record connoisseur. I'm gonna wreck it. It comes in almost apologising for itself at the end. Say, I am here. I'm here. <laughs> so they die. Like the, the end. It's yeah, really that, weird though. It comes in two those, different ways. Those fruit. That fruit dies away. It's and all. Up, it's all up front. Fruits up front. Bang. Hits you. Very uh, yeah. sweetness and sweet and sour. Yeah. Um, thick as as thick as you like again. Yeah. Um, no hint of eight and a half percent. And then right on the very end, as that as the fruit dies off, in comes the almonds. Yeah. It's very very nice. Yeah. It's mad how it can go into different parts of flavours. Mm. How that? How does it's that? It's really clever, work? isn't it? It's obviously how your palate works as well. Yeah. Can some people get the almond first and the fruit, or? Yep. Really? That, That's strange, isn't it? For me, it? I'm exactly the same as you. Mm. It's all that fruit up front, yeah. and then once that kicks out, you're left with that sort of that almond. And you've got the, there's a lingering taste after with it. And, well. and obviously they're, they're calling it almond pastry. There is like a, a doughy. Like, yeah, there's something else there. Yeah, well, gives, sure gives, it that, it gives it that yeah. thickness in, in, in the like actual a biscuit. beer. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, I'll tell you what, it's a slushy. Yeah. Oh, that'd be that'd amazing. That'd be lovely. Absolutely Especially lovely. Especially on a hot day. Yeah. Um, we might yeah. have to pop down and have a look at some point. I don't think there's many drinks we don't like from that place. Well, you've been... I've been drinking that Stagosaurus, haven't I? The IPA. Yeah, well, they've had no I've stouts been or anything. That, you've been and having I've been that. enjoying that, to be fair. And you even had a, you had a couple of halves of um, No Beer Budget last weekend, which is yeah, their, their so citra. Yeah, so more the session stuff um, I like. Yeah. Which is mad for me, isn't it? An IPA. Yeah. I really want a Cocodopus to come back. Well... And the Dipla Donut. We did have a taste of something that's, oh, yeah. um, that's yeah. obviously still brewing. So Every time our notifications come through, Stagman Good has posted something. I'm like, oh, is it out yet? Is it out yet? But we're not going to say nothing. Nope. We just know something's in the process of being made at the minute. If you've not tried these record series um, and they come into your local, local bottle shop or if you, can, if you order them online for Stagman Good, they mm. are something a bit different. Alcoholic fruit um, beers, really, really good, really, really decent. Don't believe all the bullshit that's gone before it. Um, no. Really, really good. Um, Wanda. Yes. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I was not expecting that. I, was, I know you were a bit worried about this one as well because you don't like sweet things. It's the sours I'm not keen on and like really bitter drinks. There is That's what also... I've come to a conclusion about drinks I like. 
I like my chocolate stouts or toffee or the sweet stouts I love, yep. but it can't be too strong in ABV. Right. Um, I like IPA, I, IPAs. So it's IPAs as well. IPAs, <laughs> I, well, yeah. IPAs, but I think they're more the session lower alcohol without too much bitterness. bitterness a little yeah. bit it's the bitterness with. that kills it's you. It's the really it? bitterness, bitterness and the, the strength of the hops yep. and stuff inside. Yep. And the citrusy stuff. She's getting there, folks. Um, she's nailed I can't that, handle that to a T. But I have got a sweet tooth, so I do like So that's got sweetness to it, so yeah. I like it. Yeah, she's nailed it. Um, it's a massive thumbs up from me. It's an absolute beauty. Um, it's probably, is it my favourite in the range or would that be the, um, the, the, the Reptile Respawn? I think Reptile Respawn was my favourite. Mm. Maybe it's not a record, though, is it? Yeah. Oh, was it a record? Yeah, yeah, it's a record oh, as well. Okay. Um, right. Yeah, check them all out. Um, that's fantastic. Mm. Give, um, uh, I'll put a link to Stag, uh, um, Stag really Good Brewing in the, um, the thing. Uh, Constant new beers. Their sour pods are really, really good as well. Um, so go and give us love. Yeah. Um, thumbs up this video if you, if you like it. Thumb down if you don't, we don't care. Just subscribe to the channel, it helps. Yeah. I wonder. <laughs> we'll see you very soon. Bye.